Now I said, uh, if you vomit out your breakfast, the, it's like a standing ovation to me. <laughs> or also if you run away or, or whatever, that you can't handle it. I love it. I love all reactions. Eh? Uh, yeah, I tell a little bit about myself. I'm uh, Tom Six. I'm a, a decadent uh, artist and, uh, and filmmaker. And some uh, might know you uh, for my uh, very famous horror films, The Human Centipede. And I will tell something. <laughs> That's good. It's going to be a very shocking, shocking uh, story, and I'm going to show you some very shocking material as well. So uh, I love this, this kind of, uh, this kind of stuff. So uh, I, I tell you a little bit about my my brain. I uh, am uh, the victim of a very happy childhood, and that made made me completely mad somehow. I'm a, a nihilistic uh, guy. I think everything we do is completely useless. Our uh, existence is no more than a little flash in eternity. And I think while we're here, this short time, uh, we have to be uh, great. We have to bath in greatness. And uh, leave something behind that, is, uh, that, that gets noticed. So many people are so very mediocre and they do their thing and nobody cares. And uh, I'm, I think in a whole different way. So. Uh, a lot of to do has, has to do with, uh, with shock or surprise people. Uh, if you have, you have this uh, television show, uh, The Wheel Die Door in Holland, and everybody's sitting there talking, 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 but nobody really cares. But imagine if you uh, stand up in that show and you piss on that table, people will talk about that for, for 20 years, and the only thing they remember from that show is that guy that is pissing uh, in that show. That's of course also tasteless, but uh, that's a kind of an example I, I want to uh, uh, say. Um, I want to uh, first uh, show you some paintings. I'm a, a painter as well, because film costs a lot of money, and I uh, also have uh, a lot of uh, crazy ideas. And the, the paintings uh, I make are, for some, quite tasteless. Other people get very upset by them. but. Uh, uh, so many people all over the world uh, know them. So I will show you uh, the first one. Yeah, this is like very uh, interesting. Look at the beautiful uh, scales. It's like uh, herpes on the mouth, and that looks very beautiful. Some think it's very disgusting, or th think it's very ugly, but I don't. But everybody who sees this, uh, how, how do you come up, come up with those kind of ideas? This is quite artistic in a, in a little kind of uh, uh, very simply, simplistically uh, painted. And also this, when people see this, uh, at galleries, so they, they become very angry. This is, uh, you know, uh, Theo van Gogh. He always to uh, told about uh, people from North Morocco. They are goat fuckers. And this is my answer. A goat births a Berber baby. So this is the result of that. We have here the, the famous uh, Spider-Man, who is, uh, of course, a superhero. And I put him in a chair with ALS, because you can uh, get that from two ideas. The, the people who are ALS are superheroes, because they have something uh, horrible. And you can also see it yeah, as offending. That's just how people react and look at it. But you never forget these paintings. So, OK, now I want to tell something about my, uh, my movies. I made three movies here in Holland. But Holland is such a, a small place on the world map, and so uh, little people speak uh, Dutch. So they really can't uh, yeah, go all over the world. And that irritated me. I want to, uh, to make something that is, uh, becomes famous all over the world. So I came up with an idea that uh, uh, is very simple, but it's very original. And that's what I stand for. I want to make something uh, that isn't recycled. So many 
people come up with the ideas and I, you see it before and you see a guy with a, a chainsaw or a guy with, and that's all the same and the same. And one day I was watching television and there was a, a terrible child molester on there. And uh, as a joke, I said, they should stitch his mouth to the anus of a fat truck driver. That would be a good punishment. And I told some people that idea and everybody was appalled, shocked. It's, it's, uh, can you make a film about that? And, uh, and of course, you can have a great idea, but turning that into a, a major film is quite, quite something. I wanted to know if my idea was 100% medically accurate, because that was very important for me. So I went to a real surgeon, and I told him this little idea, and he looked at me like I had some terrible disease. He so said, I'm, I'm not going to uh, do this for you. But I knew doctors are sometimes a little uh, crazy in their heads. So he, he rang me up and I said, OK, Tom, I'm going to help you. Uh, but only on one condition, I want to be completely anonymous. So he did that for me. So he made this very detailed operation report. And I'll explain it a little how that goes. Uh, people are on their hands and knees. And uh, the knee ligaments are cut, so you can't get up anymore. Uh, the, the lips are cut open, and so is the anus is cut open. And those uh, wounds are uh, yeah, uh, uh, surgically attached together. And then the skin flaps of the buttocks are opened up, and they are like attached to the, uh, to the, to the cheeks. So you're firmly tied. Uh, and I have to say, all your teeth are removed first, because then you cannot stop the feces from entering your body. And that's quite shocking. Eh? But uh, the idea is, I, I asked uh, researchers, and you can live on uh, feces for a, quite a long time, because people say it's only bacteria, but uh, it's not uh, attacked by bacteria because it's uh, going from one digestive tract in the other. So you have to, yeah, you can live uh, like that for a long time, and that's quite an idea. So uh, now, then comes the idea of finding actors for that. Now you can imagine. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to have uh, uh, American actors because I wanted to make the film in the English language. So we went to New York, and like 70% of the girls, there are mainly girls in the centipede, they walked away. You said you are an European pervert. I didn't go to film school for that. You can imagine that. Eh? But uh, the smart one stayed, and they wanted to hear more, and they wanted to hear my reasons and what the film was going to look like and stuff. So in the end, I got the two girls with the biggest balls, because you need very big balls. Then I went to, uh, to Germany to cast an amazing uh, surgeon who was going to do that. And I found a guy that's almost 70, he played uh, in 70 uh, films with Burt Lancaster and uh, Donald Sutherland. He is a, is a big theater actor. And he, uh, he's a little, uh, yeah, how do you say that? He, he, he loves the, the controversy. So he, he, he understood it uh, right away. And um, of course, then you have the financing. Eh? You can imagine that's, uh, uh, how do you say to investors or people, it's about people sewn ass to mouth? Uh, you don't get a penny, I, I think. But uh, what we told uh, people is uh, it's about a surgeon who attaches people. And that idea uh, yeah, was interesting to, uh, to investors. And I thought, no, well not. So I leave, left out a couple of words. <laughs> so, and I had to do that. Eh? I had to do that. And uh, of course, then we made the film. We shot it here in, uh, in Holland. In, uh, uh, in, and it, in the story, it's Germany. But of course, it's very similar. And uh, uh, the, sh the shooting went brilliant. And I, I thought everybody in the crew, everybody knew we have something fantastic in our hands. And I was very pleased. And what happens then is uh, I showed it on a, a film festival in, in America, uh, Fantastic Fest, which is the big, biggest uh, fantasy, horror, science fiction festival in the world. And it exploded there. Everybody talked about it. Everybody uh, yeah, had ideas about it. And it, it, it grew on the social media. And uh, yeah, we were uh, called in by uh, lots of American distributors. They all they did a bit. They all wanted to have it. And uh, that was, of course, great. So we picked a very big American uh, film distributor, IFC. And uh, uh, yeah, they did a tremendous job 
uh, putting it out. And it's sold on almost every country in the world, uh, uh, practically every country. The film is a huge success in, uh, in Japan, in, in England, in, in, in Germany. They made a lot of spoofs about my films. Uh, South Park made an entire episode about it. So that's quite cool. And it's uh, it discussed in the Conan O'Brien show. He did uh, uh, like parodies on it. Uh, it's, it's in big television shows in America. It's uh, uh, Beavis and Butthead, uh, uh, Glee, all those famous series. So it's, it's everywhere. It uh, has really become something of a pop culture. But what I did in the first one is I didn't show everything. It's most of the time it's in your head. And I traveled with the films all over the world. And uh, the, the fans who loved the film, they said, we wanted to see more. We didn't see shit. We didn't see gore. It's all in your head. Why don't you show us everything? And then I came to a point that I thought, OK, let's do that now. Let's take it to the max and to the very, very extreme and see how much people can handle. And that immediately, when that came out, it, it brought a shock. It immediately burst into two groups. You had people that were absolutely appalled. Like in England, the film was uh, fully banned, and it was all over the news, the BBC, the CNN even uh, discussed. In Germany, it's uh, still totally banned. But the pressure in England was so big, because the first one was such a success. So after a while, they allowed it with lots of cuts, they allowed it in the, in the theater. Same was in Australia, there the film was released uh, unrated, but then religious groups came to the, the theaters and protested, protested. So they took it out of the cinemas, cut it the same way as the British did, and it was allowed again. So that was uh, caused a lot of debate. Uh, now I want to show you uh, a little example, and I show you why it's uh, so offensive. In the first one, I have a, a surgeon who does the, the operation. He does it with anesthetics. He does it all according to the book, so they don't have much pain. They only uh, experience the horror. Part two is about uh, a mentally unstable guy who is so obsessed by the movie, he copies the idea. So without any medical knowledge, he abducts people. He works at night at a parking garage, and he takes them to an old warehouse. And with his kitchen supplies and the things he has in his, in his, uh, in his uh, shed, he's going to create a human centipede. So what he does, he cuts the knee ligaments, he takes out the teeth, and he's going to attach them out ass to mouth, but in another way than, uh, than a surgeon does. And I'll show you a scene now. <laughs> Enjoy. Close your eyes. Yeah.
So, that's quite interesting, eh? yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, you should really see the whole film, that you see, of course, a, a lot of layers, and uh, I only show you the very gory parts now. And also, you can start with part one, that's only a psychological horror. This is full out, and I'm going to show you, show you uh, a scene uh, after this. That's why the film got banned everywhere, because that's very, very shocking and very offensive. Part three is a whole different film that's uh, a political satire. And strangely enough, that film uh, caused the most uh, uh, yeah, stir. It, uh, in May this year, it went uh, in America, in the, in the Chinese theater in Hollywood. It went in premiere. Um, but it's, it's a kind of a satire on uh, America, and Americans got very upset with it. And uh, uh, people that uh, worked on the crew, they uh, didn't want a lot of crew didn't want to be on the end credits at part three, and they did on this one. So you can say something about out, uh, that one. And then I attached 500 prisoners. It's a very cool film. You should uh, definitely check that out. OK, now I will sh show a scene from part two. He's going to inject them now. He's, uh, he did a mouth to anus. He's inject them now with uh, laxative so they
So that's out there. Eh? That's a way that the max I think people can uh, can handle. And the the, the funny thing is, you, the the actors who are in this uh, this centipede, they all loved it. They loved the script, so they have so much fun doing it on the set. Yeah, yeah, it's very strange what you see on the screen and, and those actors. This girl, uh, an actress, all in the front, she, she was so excited to uh, perform as an actor such a, a horrible thing. And she even asked her boyfriend the, the evening before, please, can you rape me? To, uh, so I get the feeling of that. Of course, he refused. But that's how, how actors uh, uh, are. And so I'm looking for actors that have, have big balls. Uh, when, when we premiered this in America, uh, we had like a lot of people that w walked out of the theater, like, like here, some, some people walked out, they couldn't handle it. There was even uh, ambulance uh, staff there to, uh, to uh, get some people going again. And uh, yeah, as you can imagine, this is, uh, this is uh, really the, the, the edge of, I think, what, what, uh, what people can, uh, can handle. And each film, is uh, like the, the first one, the second film, and the third film are so completely different in offensive. This is really the gore and the, the yeah, the the, the 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 raping stuff, and so you you don't see that in the other films. Um, so yeah, e each one has something to say about the film. There are, there are lovers and haters for me as well. I have people that uh, call me Jesus, and I have people that say I'm worse than Hitler. Uh, they say I have to be shot. I get each day. I get a lot of death threats uh, by social media. We get letters uh, at home. People who are so angry at these films, and they s think the filmmakers uh, filmmakers should be uh, should be shot. But you have also girls that want to have children with you. Uh, they send you uh, uh, very ugly dolls they made. They are completely uh, insane, and that tells a lot about. Uh, the people that watch this as well. You have like a lot of com comedians in America, they love this. They say, say they see the comedy uh, in it. And you have like the horror people who love the horror in it. So you have all kinds of uh, groups that fascinate, are fascinated by this. Eh? And a lot of, of very famous actors in, uh, in Hollywood loved it. Like Tom Cruise, he asked for a private screening of the first one. Uh, Marilyn Manson is a, a big fan. Actor uh, Alec Baldwin, he, 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 he said he absolutely uh, loved these, these films. And so, we, uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, famous uh, following, and that's, uh, that's pretty cool, I think. But what makes it so uh, 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 special is because of the original idea. Uh, that uh, got it noticed. If I made a, a mediocre film and you have to uh, compete in the whole... Uh, uh, all the all the, the filmmaking in the world, you never get noticed. So as you are a, a young uh, guy or a young artist, you want something, make something, uh, uh, do something that uh, get noticed. That's very important. If you have an idea that you already know of, you're writing something and you think, I've seen it before, immediately throw it away. You have to make something and just wait and wait till you made something you have never seen it before. And then maybe tell your friends a little bit, and if they say, oh, that looks like that, or don't do it. Only, yeah, make the stuff that is original. And then fight your balls off to create it, if, if it's a book or a film or, or a television program, whatever, just, just do it. And, uh, and then, if it's good enough, uh, then it will get noticed, it will get picked up. Nowadays, with the social media, it goes very fast when people start talking about it. And before you know it, you have success. And uh, that was for me uh, the, uh, yeah, the whole case. I'm new now, uh, yeah, it's quite arrogant to say, but I'm very successful now. And that uh, allows me to make more films and to be, uh, yeah, to be uh, yeah, a professional filmmaker. And that's, uh, I think I'm very happy with that.